Hi, this is Brian over at Vinyl Addicts and Awesome Collectibles. Uh, just wanted to uh, show you a few things that we picked up this weekend. In case anyone out there is interested, we'll have them posted on uh, OfferUp and uh, also on our own website. This is a uh, Quasar, uh, Quasar uh, cassette player, uh, stereo uh, receiver, and turntable. It's it's one uh, one complete unit. It's really clean. It came from a um, an estate sale, and this is a the model on this one is a a, a CS seventy four hundred Quasar. As you can see, this thing is like perfect condition it's so so clean and I'll turn some uh, turn some of the power on here in a second uh, or the power on here's the uh, tape tape player or cassette player and the uh, the receiver all the knobs everything works perfectly I think it may need a, a new belt. Uh, the turntable turns, but it's turning slower than what it should. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking the belt is probably stretched. So it probably needs a new belt at some point. Uh, the belt, the uh, belts on these can be replaced fairly easily. There's two screws. There's a screw here and a screw here. You take those two screws out. The turntable lifts up out of there, and then you can replace the belt underneath. Um, if I keep it for any length of time, I'll probably do it myself, but if I can sell it, then I'll just go ahead and sell it, and somebody can replace the belt. Uh, but I'll play a record, and I'll let you listen to it. And these are the uh, the speakers that come with it. These are the factory speakers that have a tweeter level on both speakers. Uh, underneath is just the ca cabinet space. Let me move these speakers out of the way. So underneath is just cabinet space. So you got two, uh, uh, you know, two shelves, the bottom shelf, and then a, the second second shelf above there. And in the back, we have an auxiliary hookup. There's the uh, external antenna, and I do have an FM antenna that's hanging the, at the bottom there. And there's uh, speakers. There's an A and B channel for the speakers. Right now, I just have two connected to the to the A channel. So we'll come back to the record player. Uh, or the the audio system here. We'll come back to that in just a second. Here's the uh, and all the instruction manuals here, both for the the uh, the audio system and the turntable. It comes with a separate manual. It may have information about the belt. Let's see. It has information. Oh, it does show that you can take the turntable. Or you can stack the LPs. This is this has a stackable LP. Uh, the shaft on there. So let's go. Let's go take a look. Oh, you can stack the forty fives too. Okay, that's cool. I didn't see that part. Okay, let me go ahead and show you some of the other stuff that we picked up. So we have um, we have some games. We have these Simpson game, the uh, chess set, a various assortment of Monopoly games. We have uh, Star Wars Monopoly Episode One. We have the uh, limited edition Star Wars. There's a uh, NFL version of Monopoly, Family Guy Monopoly. Um, there's uh, make your own Monopoly and NASCAR champions. Let me, I have to move some stuff here. Move this box and I'll show you some of these other items that we have here. So we have these uh, Japanese figurines, and these are. These are from Japan. I, I have to uh, look up information uh, from them. Uh, 
I haven't looked up anything on these yet, so I'm not sure, you know, what exactly when they were manufactured. But I'm thinking in the in the 70s because the, the lady that I bought it from, she had traveled to Japan. See, there's made in Japan, TKN. But everything's really, really super good condition. And I picked up this this cool tea set, strawberry themed tea set. No cracks, no uh, no wear and tear. I think they used it more for decoration. This is called strawberry strawberry patch fine porcelain by Schaeffer. So I'll have to look that up as well. I don't know uh, how popular those are. And a couple other miscellaneous plates here with uh, these two are from England. And we also have picked up some still factory sealed factory sealed Godfather 1, 2, and 3. This is Godfather 1 by itself. Those are all factory sealed. And then we have a, a box of unopened McDonald's and Burger King and some other various toys. They're mostly from the 80s and 90s, it looks like. I'm going to put this other piece back into the cassette player. And I cleaned it off earlier. So those are some things that we bought. Uh, oh, there's a couple things over here. I have them sitting over over here. But these, um, some 25th anniversary, uh, 21st anniversary plate. Um, let me see. find the that's a plastic plastic stand for the plate this is Melvin China I have to look this up I, I really don't know anything about this I just thought it was pretty cool pretty nice and we have these uh, there's some pictures here and there's another plate. This is uh, from France. It looks like some kind of a tea, tea cup, tea cup. Unfortunately, just one. I don't know if that's just the way it was, or it came in a set, or not. And then I was told by the lady that I bought these from, and it seems to be fairly true because I looked up a little bit information while I was there. These are made on. These are from South America, and I have to find out exactly what country. But these are. These were painted on cigarette paper and they were painted with feathers is from what I understand um, and there's two of them here this one and there's one underneath there so I have to go through go through these items and see uh, you know see what the what the value is of course I typically don't sell things if I find something on eBay for forty dollars, I'll probably end up selling it for twenty. I may list it for forty, but I would accept somebody's offer uh, for twenty or thirty dollars, uh, you know, because I I just can't hold on to things forever. And we're in the business of selling. Well, we buy too, but you know, I, I like to to sell more than I buy. And this goes in here. Let me pop this in there. Quick. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let me set my phone down here for a second. You guys can look at the beautiful turntable and that awesome stylus. Done. It's back in there like it should be. So let's go ahead and turn this on for you guys to take a look at it. Now we have it plugged in. So I just need to turn the power on. 
which the power was on. Oh, I had it on phone. I was playing with the record player earlier. So we have aux. We have tape. I have to grab a tape in the back. There's a, a turntable or phonograph. Auto. This is uh, this is FM. FM mono, FM stereo. They didn't play ball if they weren't AM. comfortable playing ball. Let's go to FM for a little bit. Turn the volume up a little bit. I just want to run away with you. So that sounds great. So we'll go through this turntable here uh, just a second. I'll show you that the center, uh, the centerpiece here, comes off of the the turntable, so you can. Put the attachment in for 45s and this is the attachment for manual 45s and that just goes down in there like that i'm really surprised that this thing was still around because there's there's really no place that this uh 45 adapter goes usually there's like a little place where you stick it in there and kind of hold it there but there's no place that this little 45 adapter goes so i'm surprised that it's stuck around for this many years and this just goes back in there. There's a little notch. See that notch there? There's a notch on the side. And that aligns with this notch on the shaft there on the turntable. And that just goes back down in there. And there you go. It just kind of snaps back into place and it's working again. And it will function as it should be, or as it should. So let's grab a record. I was going to use that one, but that one is not in the greatest condition. So let me get a record that is in better, better shape. Let's take this one that I was playing yesterday, Aerosmith. So we can put Aerosmith on here. And you can stack LPs. On this one, uh, there is no attachment to stack the 45s, but there is an attachment to stack the LPs. I think you can probably get one of those general uh, 45 stackers, and it may work on here. I'm not. I'm not positive about that. So it's on. As you can see, the turntable is spinning. Let me turn it to phonograph on the control knob there. And I'll set it to auto. Let me unlock this arm. It's a really nice arm. I don't know if that's aluminum or some type of a just an alloy. So let me set it to auto. Check out here for a second. Not sound like somebody was at the door. You can hear the slowness to it. This record is not supposed to be this slow. So it's not going the speed that it should be, although it is on 33 right now. There's a 33 in a 45 setting. And there's also a size, the actual record size setting, 7, 10, and 12. I've changed it to the 12 and the 10, and it doesn't seem to, um, to change the, uh, the speed. This, this one here is the only one that changes the speed, really. The actual 33 and 45 uh, setting. So, the, the, Q, the Q arm does work. So if I Q it up, it does come off the, the record just fine. So I think the belt is slipping myself. I think that's what's going on. Because... That record definitely is is much quicker than faster than that, but that's pretty slow. 
the RPMs are just not getting up to where they should be on that uh, that turntable. If you listen to it on my stereo, you will see the difference after I change it to from the tuner. I was listening to the radio earlier. See the difference? But it's a great, this is a very clean system. Um, I thought about taking it home for a while and, and uh, using it, and, which I still may do. And I may get in there and replace that belt. But I'll give you a better price, obviously, if you fix the belt yourself. And if you don't, if I fix it, then I'll just, you know, add the belt and repair costs on to the, the price of the system. But it is, I'm asking $100 for it. And that comes with the cabinet, the speakers, the stereo system, everything. I have it listed on offer up right now at this time. Uh, so because of the size of the item, it would have to be local you know, local delivery or local pickup only, because this is really not something to ship. Uh, although it was probably obviously shipped at one point, but it was in pieces when it was probably shipped. So if you're interested, uh, go to our website, awesomecef.com, and go to the offer up link and uh, check our offer up site, and you'll see it there. If you need additional photos, or other information related to this item or other items that you may have seen on this video or other videos, just contact us on the website. Uh, our email link is there and our email address is there as well. And we hope you have a great rest of the week. It's Monday, so there's a lot of the week left to go. And uh, just keep an eye on things we have uh, on both our uh, awesome CEF site and Vinyl Addicts. Thanks and have a great day.